Okay, hello and welcome to yaymath.org and yaymath in studio, which is this version of yaymath.org's videos. My name is Robert Ardute, founder, CEO, and lifelong math enthusiast, and hopefully your teacher with gratitude. Uh, today, what we're gonna be talking about on Yay Math is the idea of recursion and iteration. Now look, you can see I set up some of these problems here, and uh, I'm telling you, honest to goodness, straight up. I truly wonder whether the authors of the books, when they're doing this type of notation, writing it, ask themselves whether it's approachable and understandable to their students. Because just looking at the stuff as it is, I feel, I feel you, student, I feel you, learner, that this stuff looks kind of weird and, and very encoded. Um, I'm going to unlock all those problems and help you see it in a way so that it's not so bad and basically see it the way the authors of the book see it. That would be my primary goal today. All right, and I hope I, I meet that goal. I hope I accomplish that on your behalf. Let's talk about what this all means, okay? The first step is to talk about A, N, okay? This is a sequence called A, okay? You can think of like A1, A2, A3, da, 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 A, N, okay? So A, N is some sort of term, right? A term that you wanna speak about. If it's A3, you're talking about the third term. If it's A4, you're talking about the fourth term. If it's AN, you're talking about the nth term, all right? We can call that perhaps, let's call that the current term, if that makes sense to you. The term that we're talking about. If I said A3, A3 would be the current term. If I said AN, AN's the current term. Let's put it down, current term, all right? So then it would make sense that the next term, let's put that in blue, save the big reveal, uh, the next term, okay, would be one ahead of this, thus that is a n plus one. Does that make sense? So it's like whatever this is, if this was a five, this would be a five plus one, that's a six. So a five is the current term, the next term would be a six, which is a n plus one. So from now on, when you see a n, you could think of the current term, whatever current term we're on, and if you see an plus one, you're thinking of, oh, that must be the one after it, the next term. And maybe you guess where I'm going. Previous, pervious, per, I'm, I'm impervious to this confusion. Previous. Say it. There you go. Okay, current term is an. Next term, previous term, okay? So now we know the notation. I'm gonna leave that up here for a little while. Let's see if we can do the first five terms of this particular sequence. Let's frame the sequence front and center. A1 is four. A n plus one equals two A n minus one. And we want the first five terms of this sequence. Uh, granted, this term is already given to us. So we'll put a four here, four comma. Now look, look closely. The next term is two times the current term, whatever you're on, minus one. So if you wanted to be specific, what if we said n was one in this case? If n was one, one would go here and one would go here. And that would mean a two, oops, a two, equals two times a one minus one. Awesome, this is a one, this is a two, a three, a four, a five, right? Okay, sort of like a, <laughs> a barbecue sauce dream come true. I got the a one, baby, I got the a two, I got the a three. It's a spice level. Anyway, so after a one, we're gonna go a two. A2 is two times A1, whatever it is, minus one. Turns out we know what A1 is, that's four. So that's two times four, which is eight, minus one, seven. Awesome. Now what if we decided to slip in two here? Two and two here. So that would mean A2 plus one, that's A3. Two times A2. Minus one, let's find out. Cool, A3 is here. 
2 times a2, which is 2 times 7, is 14, minus 1, 13. Did you feel? you get the feel for this? So basically all it is is the next term equals 2 times whatever term you're on, minus 1. Let's do it. The next term is 2 times whatever term I'm on, 2 times this, 20, 26, minus 1, 25. The next term is 2 times whatever term I'm on, 2 times 25, which is 50, minus 1, 49. That's all it is. Okay? That's all it is. Next term, 2 times current 1, minus 1. You'll see it's the same over and over. All right, we'll take this off. We want the first five terms again. I'm bringing that over. A1 equals 6. A n plus 1 equals 3 a n minus n. Okay, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to jump straight into the process. Okay, a1 is 6, 6. Now, the next term equals 3 times the current term minus what n is at the time, which is kind of weird, right? Let's put down n here. So in this case, let's go n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Look at that. All right, many layers. So let's say if n was 1, okay, that would lead us to a2 equals 3 times a1 minus, oh, I forgot to put 1 there, 1 minus 1. Here we go. a2, this guy, is 3 times this guy, 18 minus 1, 17. Okay, here we go again. Let's make this n equals 2 now. Lava, 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 lava. Okay, 2, 2, 2. So this becomes a 3. 3 times a 2 minus. 2. Isn't that crazy? All right, let's do it. A3, this one, is 3 times this. 3 times 17 is 51. Minus 2 is 49. All right. Ready to do it? I bet you could jump in with me. Let's try this. A equals 3 minus A equals 3. A, A minus Okay, let's have a little fun with the pattern. This would be a 4. This would be a 3. This would be a 3. See it? 2, 2. This would be a 5. This would be a 4. This would be a 4. 4. Got to go a higher octave because it's the last one. <laughs> and then... <laughs> okay, so let's try it. A4, the next term, equals 3 times the current term minus the number n that you're on. It's kind of cool. All right, let's see if we can bang this out. 3 times 49 is 147. Um, minus 3 is 144. Pop it in. Good. Uh, yeah, 3 times 49. It's like 3 times 50 minus 111. That's 147 minus 3. All right, here we go. The fifth term is three times the fourth term. Three times this is, oh, here we go. Uh, 300 plus three times 44. 44 is 88. And then another 44 is, uh, ah, bailing out. <laughs> bailing out. <laughs> Got to rely on text sometimes. 144 times three. Uh, 432 <laughs> minus four. 428. Okay, there you go. That one's done. Let's do the first five terms of the next guy. Let's see if we can get the language even more. A1 equals 4. A2 equals 5. A n plus 2 equals 4. A n minus 2. A n plus 1. Back to the original point. The original point is, when you look at this all together, that's what goes through my mind.
That's how I feel looking at this as if I'm seeing it for the first time, okay? But we don't have to be bound by that anymore. This means first term, this means second term. We're already two thirds of the way there, four, five, or two fifths of the way there, four and five. Next, this is the term next after the current. So two ahead, not one ahead, but two ahead. So let's have some fun with it. Two ahead equals four times whatever the current term is, four times this, Why not? Let's put it all in black. Minus two times one ahead. See that? This one, when you're two ahead, is the same as four times the original one, minus two times the one ahead of original, the next term. This is 16 minus 10. That's six. Whoa, interesting. Will that happen again? We'll find out. So let's try the next one. The one over here would be four times the original one we're starting with, right? So we're like two ahead of this, all right? I want you to think in those terms now. Here we are two ahead of original, okay? Which is what we want. So we have four times, now we can put a little color in. Okay, four times original, that's four times five. Minus two times one ahead of original is two times six. Let's see if it happens. This becomes 20 minus 12. Oh, couldn't keep it up. Eight. I was looking for that pattern. There's eight. And finally, off, 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 off. And we'll get them in. All right, this one is two times the one uh, original plus uh, or four times that one, excuse me, four times that and two times that. Let's put it in. Four times six, two times eight. 24 minus 16. How about that? Another eight. Another eight. Okay. I hope that makes sense, right? Think in terms of current and next and previous. One ahead, two ahead. Therefore, this would be two back. If you had a n plus two over here, that's two back. This is a n plus two, this would be a n, this would be a n plus one. All right, good job. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna take all these off now. Part two would be 